Yo, what's up? Welcome to another build guide. So people always ask me to make a simulacrum build or just test a build that is already there. All right. The last uh, leak in 3.16 Scourge, I tried cast Phantom Shtaken Inquisitor, but right now it is not viable because Scourge is not in core game. I also tried Pathfinder Concoction, Poison Concoction and uh, one more build, but I didn't post those because I didn't like those builds because they were not consistent. Sometimes you just fail after level 25, you know, wave 25. So that's why, yeah. So today, in 3.17 Arch Nemesis League. So I got this builds pet of building from a friend at the first week. There were like 8 people playing this build. And he said that this build is so broken. Uh, you are using the new Ashes of the Star amulet to abuse uh, the alternate quality of Honored and Cremation, those kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, this is gonna probably go big if someone makes a video. I don't know if anyone put a video, but right now a hundred people plays this build. But that's why I just got, we just got the gems. So this was a project uh, with one of my friends. He did most of the work, all right. Uh, so we just got the gems at the first week when they were like two eggs out each. Right now, I believe they are like 10 eggs out or something. It is just busted. What should you invest into this build? Absolutely. Uh, this is one of the most broken simulacrum and feared farmer I have ever played. The character is so much tanky that you can just face tank most of the stuff. You will just have trouble with degeneration effects, especially in feared, but in simulacrum, it is just so easy. So the only problem that I saw while playing this build is in simulacrum only, let's say, uh, you know that you actually kill monsters to stack rewards, like there's a bar at the bottom of your screen. That shows the rewards and it goes like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, depending on your speed, you know, the clear speed. So unfortunately, sometimes you just waste too much time on a boss or something like that. The DPS is fine, obviously, but depending on the modifiers. And also the AoE coverage of the skill is not bad, but not crazy. So because of all these, if bad modes start to stack on the final waves... Uh, you just start, start clearing slowly, that's why sometimes you cannot even hit 5 rewards, you know, uh, 5 times the rewards. So the ideal build should probably clear like 6 or even uh, 7, but it is hard obviously. But let's say at least 5 or 6 rewards um, on the last waves, let's say, for even more profit. I believe in the video you watched, I just uh, barely stuck at the final part of the 4 times uh, reward, you know. I couldn't even hit the 5. So it sometimes happens, uh, usually you are at 5. 6 is rarely happening, you know. So that's why uh, that is the only downside of this build. But uh, Simulacrum is right now super cheap. You obviously make easy profit with that um, price. It is under an exalt. I don't know the price right now. Because I played the build like 5 days ago. Uh, so anyways, let's just uh, start uh, explaining the build. So this is the Simulacrum build that you should play if you want an easy build. Um... Just, you don't have to worry about anything, alright? You just go in, bam, bam, bam. That's it. Super easy to play. So let's just first explain what's going on with this build. So I will just start with the main skills and the issues of the stars amulets and how the synergy works. I will just cover those up and then later on explain the rest of the pieces. So the amulet issues of stars is a new item that is probably very... Um, useful for most of the builds out there this is a very popular amulet right now this is like 50 chaos i believe even less i don't know uh, because people just obviously stopped buying it uh, yeah that's why and the boss actually drops this quite often so this amulet has plus one level of skill gems which obviously works for every build mana reservation efficiency uh, and also quality of all skill gems so first of all you should get the maximum roll obviously because the higher is the better for especially this build because you want to abuse the alternate quality of cremation and um, unearth. So unearth is a spell that actually shoots out projectiles uh, that are actually corpses. You will just spawn corpses. That's why we want to use uh, some supports to increase the number of the corpses, increase the level of the corpses, the helmet enchant. So we want high level of corpses for more corpse life. The, the thing that makes this build expensive is Unearth actually as an uh, alternate quality phantasmal that has corpse spawn have a 40% increased max life which is also gonna be more thanks to the amulet so huge corpse life meaning even more dps because we actually want to explode these corpses with cremation 
So this is not a detonate that build. Remation also has a phantasmal quality, which says 40% chance to explode a nearby corpse when firing projectiles. So this is what makes this build viable and maybe expect a nerf next leak because this is so busted right now. So you obviously want the highest quality on your amulet. So this cremation explode is also going to be 100% once you get the quality and the amulet and all of that. So it means that whenever you shoot, so here is how to play. You just shoot unearth, create that corpse, press your cremation. So you will just see that volcano skill, you know, the animation is like a volcano, mini volcano. That, that, that is the cremation. So the fire is coming out from the ground, whatever is going on. After that, you just press and hold your unearth. That's it. You will just shoot unearth. Uh, cast speed helps a lot uh, on this process, actually. You just hold, click your unearth on that cremation. All of those corpses are going to get exploded as soon as they, they just hit the ground. You know, bam, 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 bam. And that is how you just melt bosses. Uh, if maybe if you can do that, uh, try to summon some uh, more cremations stack to each other, let's say. But you cannot actually summon two cremations at the same point. You need to, you know, just target a little far away. Maybe just put a couple of cremations, make a circle around the boss, whatever. Then just press and hold honor. Brrr, boom. Boss is dead. That's it. That's it. That's how to play. You need honored phantasmal and um, cremation phantasmal, which are super expensive right now. Again, we just sniped these when they were cheap. But if you want to do this build right now, it is way more expensive. Um, that's it about the synergy. I'm just checking the gems. I don't want to explain all the gems and that's what uh, those kind of stuff. You know, flame dash for mobility, molten shell, whatever. Just check those in pet of building. This build uses spirit of elements, so it is ailment immune. Determination for armor. We also abuse Aegis Aurora, something that haven't got nerfed. But they actually mentioned some defensive changes, I believe, uh, in next leak. So expect a nerf uh, for uh, on this Aegis Aurora, maybe. Because this is one of the most broken defensive item. Uh, yeah, one of the most broken defensive options, let's say, in the game right now. Most people uh, abuse these on different kind of builds. So yeah, this is the perfect time to play this build, because... There are lots of stuff that is in that are in danger actually. So this build is at a high risk of getting nerfed completely, something like that. So make sure you play this if you want to farm feared or maybe simulacrum, those kind of stuff in 3.17 Arc Nemesis League right now. So armor, determination, temple shield, this build. Uh, this is already a necromancer character, so we have lots of block. Thanks to uh Mistress of Yeah, Sacrifice. Uh, notable that she has your offering skill also affects you reduce effect and increase duration skill effect duration so the offering that you may want to use is obviously bone offering because it provides block spell and attack uh, we also use a shield get some block nodes on the talent tree so with the offering up i have 71 almost cap let's say attack block 74 again almost cap uh, spell block so you don't even get hit by all the attacks you can just face tank hordes of monsters even if you get hit we have eggs or obviously uh, let's say that we just get hit by a little amount and bam if uh, the other attacks uh, gets blocked or something uh, the shield just replenishes our inner shield based on armor because we have more than 50k armor with flask up those kind of stuff with determination aura all the time you will just replenish a lot of inner shield. You can just face tank hordes of monsters. This is how to abuse this uh, shield and block those kind of stuff. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to explain rest of the gems. You know, we have curse, define, spanner, aura, whatever. Just check the rest in the pet of building. This is how to play the build. Moving on to the next uh, um, segment, let's say section. I will just explain what the gear that I'm using, the rest of the gear. I already showed you the amulet and the shield. How to craft them if that is something that you need to do and that's gonna be it so weapon uh, probably the hardest piece to craft because uh, similar ones are maybe expensive or hard to find so first of all let's just talk about the stats that work for this build you just want the highest unearth level as possible that simply boosts our dps a lot so that's why on your weapon you should have plus one spell gems or physical gems because unearth has physical tag or both at the same time it is not end of the world if your weapon just have one of the plus one gems because the dps is right now more than enough i also deleted feared you know it, the dps is fine uh, you can maybe play with a little lower investment because the build is tanky you will just kill the boss anyways all right 
so you can just play with worse gear because most of the items are going to be super easy to find and some of them are unique actually so the most important the hardest piece let's say again is the um weapon all right the plus levels uh, fractured obviously helps a lot so you can just focus on the other one that makes the crafting super easier after that you can use ace link for double damage cast speed those kind of stuff so cast speed works for this build double damage obviously works trigger is super important you must craft that on your weapons suffix all right uh, if you don't have the recipe obviously get help from the forbidden throw discord you need trigger because our offering is in that we have purifying flame and also wave of conviction so you may want to um, you know apply exposure get that bone offering block to survive you don't press the buttons at all you know uh, the trigger just do it do, uh, do that on its own that's pretty much it the other stats are uh, spell damage i believe do not work because this is a detonate build detonate is not spell as far as i know that is how uh, the detonate that was those kind of skills so that's why you need to focus on the detonation is fire damage so that's why you need to focus on elemental damage uh, any global damage fire damage and um, that's it and gem level so do not get any uh, base type with spell damage so let's say a wand so scepters are your best choice because they provide elemental damage and also try to craft uh, fire damage on the weapon that's about the uh, weapon again you don't need this crazy weapon just get rid of one of the plus one levels and it's gonna be easier to craft or you can just find it on the market with only plus one level and some other good stuff like an open suffix for trigger let's say some fire damage maybe double damage while focus whatever they just uh, people just put them on the market all right all the time that's about the weapon probably the hardest piece next helmet for the enchant honored spawn corpses with pl plus five level this is super important make sure again in tft discord get help from a labyrinth service provider give your helmet and uh, wait maybe a couple of days depending on the luck of that person and make sure you buy that uh, enchanted helmet if you have a good base or something like that all right uh, or just buy the um, enchant already on the market if that is something that you can do because uh, if your helmet is not crafted maybe you can also craft that later on so this is an energy shield build so energy shield is good you can use dance fossil or any uh, essence that provides intelligence or energy shield so they all work for this build because intelligence also provides energy shield so just stack as um, what's that energy shield on your helmet and maybe intelligence the build also needs obviously some other attributes like strength and dexterity so rings are perfect place to put that our um helmet and boots are also rare so that's why if you have an open suffix you can also craft this kind of attributes uh, if your helmet is not influenced you can use the neve uh, what's that influences steering exarch and eater of worlds i just put penetrate fire resist and also cast speed cast speed is super important again i'm telling you the faster you just throw those unearth projectiles the more dps you can do uh that's pretty much it next incandescent heart probably the best chest piece for this kind of fire elemental builds because you will have that gain 20 percent of elemental damage as extra chaos damage which provides huge dps plus this is a ci build chaos inoculation so our life is one because this is an energy shield build it doesn't matter and we are immune to chaos damage that means that uh, whenever we take elemental damage 75 percent of that is gonna be taken as chaos damage which is gonna get negated completely because our chaos resist is a hundred we are immune so lots of mitigation and dps and a very cheap chest right now and just go and buy one already and i believe that yeah you can maybe get a good corruption if you want i don't know depending on your budget my body armor does, didn't have anything all right uh maybe max resistances plus gem i don't know just get something if you have the budget or just double corrupt whatever boots so uh, first of all you should probably get a non-influenced one uh, because you can put maybe scorched ground these are very popular right now it provides good dps and uh, maybe i don't know other stuff anything that you can think of because just check the poe database there are hundreds of implicit uh, lots of combinations just uh, put whatever you want i just picked uh, scorched ground i believe that works for more uh, penetration those kind of stuff if you bother doing that just circle around the boss maybe put that scorched ground and this pretty much it uh, get that uh, penetration again this is an energy shield build so a good energy shield boot something close to 200 maybe energy shield intelligence again is super important if you still need attributes maybe get a suffix open if you need resistances also get resist so just a regular rare item movement speed is also number one as stat uh, rings 
So Crusader uh, bases have maximum energy shield as percentage. Uh, rings can already roll flat maximum energy shield. So try to get the boat at the same time. So even more energy shield. Moon stone rings obviously have the implicit energy shield. So they are also another good uh, option. So just stack as much as energy shield as possible. Get the rest of the resistances if you need. Maybe get uh, again a tribute. Just the same stuff. All the pieces are similar actually. Um, at least one open prefix helps a lot to reduce the mana cost. You can do that. You can even use replica forbidden. Uh, not forbidden was that. Replica conquer efficiency to lower the mana cost by 9. Uh, that jewel is also nice if you want. Just try to lower the mana cost a little bit to make things comfortable. For the curse choice, because this is an elemental build that doesn't even crit or anything. Flammability curse. You can maybe even put this in your weapon, uh, but this way you can put more triggers in your weapon, not flammability curse. So a curse ring in the end is fine. You can even put elemental weakness curse on your gloves actually. I'm gonna talk about the gloves final because there are two examples that you can uh, consider getting. And yeah, that's it. So don't forget the curse on your gloves or ring. Uh, belt, again, for more energy shield, crusader. Just similar to the rings, you know. Uh, flat maximum energy shield, percentage energy shield. Crystal, uh, crystal belt already provides huge energy shield on the implicit. Also on these pieces, uh, rings and belt. You can use the catalyst, the defense catalyst. I always forgot their names. I believe it is the green one. To boost the defense values even more. Because energy shield is considered defense. That's why you can actually um, increase the numbers on the, those uh, items, rings, uh, belt. So use that uh, catalyst to even boost the energy shield uh, more. Again, armor, attributes, whatever you are missing. Uh, resist, that's it. Not even any damage stat on this kind of jewelry. And final item, yes. Gloves. So there are two options. The cheaper one, but maybe it is not that cheap right now. Is a hands of high Templar. Uh, that is a drop from Sirius because it's corrupted all the time. It provides plus gem level. If you are missing curse, maybe elemental weakness, but that's probably gonna be uh, more expensive. And that's why I just focus on the uh, gem level because this is where your unearth is gonna be socketed in. Unearth is not six linked, it is just in our gloves to boost that uh, gem level. So plus one gems, uh, projectile gems because unearth is also projectile. So that kind of, also AoE that also works. Uh, whatever corruption can happen on gloves, or right? just boost that uh, unearth level. So this is your lower budget option. And the other option, this is what we crafted because we just wanted to um, invest as much as possible to test the build. And uh, a gloves with uh, lots of fossil modifiers. So this also obviously increases the level. This even increases the level more. All right. So this is something that you can work on. Obviously, you will have higher DPS. You can also put some Neve implicits on the, what is that called? Uh, Neve implicit from the Neve influences. My brain just dead for a couple of seconds there. <laughs> All right. So even better gloves if you bother crafting it. But you do not need this. Half of the people on the leaderboard do not even use this. Because this is harder to craft. Costs more. But if you really enjoy the build. If you just want to min max it. This is something you should craft later on. I will just put the fossil combination on the screen. You will just spam those until you hit the gem levels. And maybe use a lock. Suffix or whatever you know. And use Ace Link to even hit more uh, level. On the prefix, because you can get plus one projectile gems with that Pierce modifier, or plus one AOE with the area effect. So those are veiling, uh, veiled uh, Aisling modifiers, and then finally craft the other one yourself. So total plus one, two, four, five gems, I believe, if I counted right. Yo, uh, so yeah, this is about the glows. The fossil combination is on the screen. This is super expensive. This is just to min max the build if you want. And just put some good implicits, whatever you want. Even suppress spell, inflict exposure. I don't know, just put anything you want on the implicit. And that's it about all the gear. Um, I will just check my talent tree if uh, there is anything. Yeah, let's just uh, show this real quick. And that's going to be end of the guide. So I'm using a red nightmare to get some fire damage as extra cast damage. Plus, this also grants fire resist... Uh, Let's just read it, all right. Basically, granting fire resist or elemental resistances. That's gonna be this here. All element resist. And I believe that's it. 
Also grounds, where's the block, whatever. Let's just uh, detect this out. Let's check our block. As you can see, more block. And also fire has extra chaos, meaning more DPS. So this is where to use this. Uh, this is nice. You can even get endurance charges on kill, I believe. Yeah, this is also what this provides. Yeah. So good jewel. Uh, make sure you use this here and get this holy domain in here for that resistances. So this actually can work. Uh, whatever. Okay, what else? Uh, let's just check, check, check. A large cluster. Even a two passive works. This is just for additional DPS, obviously. Elemental base is nice. Fire also works. Prismatic card for additional resistances. So you can even keep your resistances easier if you want. Widespread destruction. Some area effect damage. I don't know. Just put any combination you want. This is nice. Say this. Uh, if you have chilled, ignite, shocked an enemy recently, these are all happening. Uh, this should work because we already shock whatever, doing all those because there's that. This one. Enemies near your corpses spawned recently are chill and shock. So that's why this should work. Uh, that's why I picked this. And that's pretty much it. Just get any combination you want. Even use a two passive one if this is expensive. Just try to get some elemental damage notables, alright? And use more jewels in these. Uh, we are gonna get Forbidden Flame to check the Forbidden Flames uh, later on. I'm just checking if there's anything else. Maybe there's any special jewels. No, these are just uh, regular masteries. So let's just check the final jewels if you have anything. A regular jewel, fire damage. I don't know, energy shield. You can even get maybe Corrupt Blood if you are not immune. And finally, not finally, a Watcher's Eye. This was super cheap. This lets you uh, get more mitigation. Because we already use Spirit of Elements, uh, physical damage taken from hits as light, fire, cold, they all work. We are already ailment immune because we use Spirit of Elements, so any physical damage taken as something works. You are not in any danger because normally you just get chilled or whatever depending on the damage type. I believe you cannot get ignited, that is not how that works. But you can get shocked or chilled uh, if you get uh, physical damage taken as light or cold if you are not ailment immune. But Pruto of Elements already provides ailment immunity, so it doesn't matter what you pick. You can even get a double one if you have the budget, I don't know. And even more mana cost reduction, if you still need mana cost reduction. Only one of my ring actually provided mana cost reduction, and I do not even have Replica Conquer efficiency equipped. So, if you can fix that mana problem, you can even get another Watcher's Eye, more defensive one. Uh, we also use Determination, don't forget that. Maybe put something that also has Determination on it. Finally... Forbidden Flesh and Flame, these are new jewels that boost our DPS a lot, maybe survival ability, whatever. I picked Wild Bastion. Cannot be stunned while you have Energy Shield, so we are actually stun immune while playing this Energy Shield build. Because this is a CI build, meaning that our life is 1. Uh, unless you do something to change that stun threshold, whatever, you will just get stunned a lot. So stun immunity is super important, that's why I picked this. Especially in Simulacrum. There are lots of monsters just spawning at the same time and just leaps on you. If you don't have this, you will maybe probably die even. Uh, even the Aegis maybe won't uh, save you. Uh, that's why stun immunity is nice. You can maybe also put the avoid stun enchant if you cannot find or maybe afford this jewel. Right now this was not that expensive, but I'm not sure what's gonna happen later. Uh, that's why maybe you can put also the enchant on your boots and play like that. But this is very nice because this is an occultist passive. You cannot normally get this as a necromancer. Uh, energy regeneration, those kind of stuff. That, this is pretty much for more defense. That's it about the guide. I will just have more normal guides, let's say no more simulacrum guides probably. This is the most broken simulacrum build that I could find. So if you have the budget, if you can afford the gems or whatever, make sure you play this right now. And the simulacrum is also super cheap. And that's it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel, I upload regularly and I upload lots of end game uh, super cool builds that you cannot find anywhere else. Not like this one, I usually do most of my builds myself but I sometimes test these kind of builds that actually people play and see if they are really viable or not, just for you guys. If you have any build suggestions, if you want me to test anything, make sure you make a suggestion in my discord, or my discord. If you feel generous you can become a Patreon member do, to support the channel. And that's it. Also, make sure you message me in my Discord if you're a Patreon member so I can give you that special rank in my Discord channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.